So Sarah and Nadja, we've been having some fascinating conversations about the intersections between theology and psychology and why that's so important to understand when we're trying to help uh, our youth suffering from depression. Um, and during these conversations, we have realized that communities are so important from both of our perspectives. And um, during that process, we've come up with sort of a, a definition that we think really defines what we're looking for, um, for, for youth to be a part of that will help them along the continuum um, universally, yes. whether they are or have been or will be suffering from depression. Sarah, would you mind reading our sure. definition? So um, for us, um, a relational community of flourishing really is a pro-social relational environment that supports youth trying to live with courage and resilience despite their circumstances. The community offers a consistent presence that nurtures the emotional and spiritual growth of each member. The community embraces youth as they experience and manage their emotions so they can retain hope and joy even when life is difficult or painful. Communities of flourishing are safe spaces that model unconditional love and empathy for self community and the world. That's our definition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and I think what's really important for us to think about is that these communities exist in a way that will be available to youth at any time. And when we think about traditional models of um, health care delivery for kids who are struggling with mental health issues, it's more often than not that we wait until symptoms come up, we might wait until there's a crisis that arises before the community of treatment begins. But what we know really works best is for there to be a community that can start offering coping skills, that can start offering those incredibly strong bonds of connection that will support youth, like you said, Kate, before anything has come up, because in that way they're giving them skills that will really be life Long, mm -hmm. long skills and growing skills. If they're starting to show some symptoms, they can really reach out early. We can have uh, youth ministers be aware of what some of the things are to look for and how to address them. And even when the kids are in the middle of those painful circumstances that we refer to in the definition, that they can still feel that they're, they're held and it's not a separate thing that happens to them, that treatment is separate or shameful. It's really integrated into their lives. Mm -hmm.